Guys, not even gonna lie, my brain actually kind of hurts right now. So everyone's talking about how the English Electric Lightning is underperforming and how it needs more power and it should be a space shuttle. Well, I've got access to the manual. Yep, that's it right there. So we went through it, started looking at it, pulled up the charts, pulled up the applicable information that I need to do. So we actually broke this down. And stick around guys because you're gonna be a little surprised here, I think. So first thing to think about, in this manual, part three, in the beginning, it shows you examples of how to calculate everything. So in this flight manual, they calculate your takeoff time from brake release up to 450 knots, and then they calculate your time to altitude from 450 knots. That was part of where I was screwing up and I couldn't quite make the numbers match. Once I understood that, things changed a little bit different. So we're going to show you the numbers and then we're going to show you the actual example in the game. So the other thing to consider too is this manual is written for the 301 engines. In the game, the Lightning has the 302 engines. So in the manual, it actually talks about if you're using 302 engines, you can fudge your numbers by about 10%. So now that we know that we need two sets of numbers, let's go ahead and calculate the first set. First set is up to 450 knots. In my example, I'm going to use Norway. That map, the uh, runway is at 1,000 feet and the temperature is around 10 degrees Celsius. This chart is the time to 450 knots with reheat, otherwise known as afterburner. If you do the math, draw it across the center. 10 degrees is only a couple degrees off from standard day. We look straight down, we're supposed to be at 0.75 minutes, which is otherwise 45 seconds. So now we know we have 45 seconds, let's calculate our time to 30,000 feet. So for this calculation, we're gonna go ahead and use figure 3.2.2.1, which is climb at 450 knots and 0.87 Mach in the troposphere. So in this one, the one thing you really need to consider is it says the weight is 38,500 pounds. Well, a full bag of fuel in this aircraft with red tops is actually 41,000 pounds. So we are overweight by this chart, but we're gonna go ahead and use the numbers anyways. You'll be surprised. So according to this chart, if we use a standard day to 30,000 feet, the time is gonna be 1.5 minutes. Pretty straightforward numbers, right? All right, let's throw it all together. So on the left, we have our time to 450 knots, 0.75 minutes, that's 45 seconds. On the right, we have 1.5 minutes to get to 30,000 feet. Throw them both together, you get two minutes and 15 seconds from takeoff roll to 30,000 feet. Let's go ahead and just throw this all together, see what happens. So we spooled up the engines, brake release, timer started, here we go, we are an afterburner. We definitely, like I said, we spooled up the engines with the brakes on to 95%. Once it started rolling, I hit the afterburner and we went, so here we go. Takeoff roll, 12 seconds in, here we go, 150 knots, and we're going to go ahead and pull up, take off, get the gear up, we will not climb. There we go, gear is up. We're going to try and maintain right around 1,000 feet for this acceleration. Because the aircraft goes faster, it needs to pitch down just a little bit to maintain this altitude. I'm still climbing just a little bit, that's okay. There's 340 knots, 350, 360, 370. Remember, we want to try and meet 450 knots by 45 seconds, right? So here we go, 430. 440, there's 450, boom, 42 seconds. We are now pitching up to maintain 450 knots. We are in the climb gradient. We will maintain 450 knots until we reach 0.87 Mach. All right, here we go, we are going up. 450 knots, we're gonna try and keep that pitch just to maintain 450 knots. Mach speed indicator's coming alive and we are going up. 0.78 Mach, 0.79 Mach. We're gonna drop it, we're gonna maintain 450 knots until we hit 0.87, right? So here we go. 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85. Once we hit 0 0.87, we're gonna pitch up just a little bit more to maintain 0.87. Boom, there it is, we're gonna pitch up more. Minute and 22 seconds into this. Here we go, 0.87. I don't really know this aircraft as well. We're gonna start decelerating just a little bit. I probably pitched up just a little more and I should have. But remember guys, we are overweight in this one. We are 41,000 pounds instead of 38,500. So our numbers should be a little bit off. But guess what? Minute and 42 seconds in, we are at 24,000 feet. Remember, we said we want to be at 30,000 feet by 2 minutes and 15 seconds, right? Well, there's 27,000 feet, 28,000 feet, 29,000 feet. Boom, 30,000 feet at 1 minute and 58 seconds. Boys and girls, your English Electric Lightning is overperforming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.